Happy Tom Ford Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about Tom Ford's eye brushes. I got a couple of these for my birthday. I've been using them. I've been washing them. So today I'm going to share with you all the details, all the things. And you know what? Pulled out the classic Mink Mirage. And this is what we're going to create an eye look and demo the brushes. So let's hydrate and begin. Let's talk details, construction, and pretty much what Tom Ford is saying about his brushes. But before that, please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't, and give today's video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Tom Ford brush collection is designed to bring ease and luxury to the process of creating your look. Make expert makeup application completely effortless. Currently, all of the Tom Ford brushes that you can buy, you know, from Tom Ford or from the retailers currently are of synthetic fibers. Previously, that wasn't the case. I, I think I only have one Tom Ford brush that's of natural hairs and it's the bronzer brush, which I love this brush so much. I know we're talking about eye brushes today, but really quick, really quick. This brush, like, as much as I love that it's natural hair, I actually don't mind the synthetics. They both have held up pretty well. And this one in particular, I love how huge it is. I use this for blush. I use this for bronzer. I use this to... I have used it on cream. Maybe not the best idea, but I have done it. <laughs> so, I mean, overall, having all of the face... Well, I have almost all of the face brushes, except for one in particular. Um, but because I had such a great experience with my face brushes, synthetic and natural hairs... I was extremely interested in the eye brushes and I was so, so, so happy when I got a few of them for my birthday. And I have been using them nonstop. I haven't really shared them in a video yet. I mean, here and there I have, but I kind of wanted to just use them in my, you know, my go-to every day, constantly reach for them, see how they did with the shedding, see how they did overall performance-wise. I mean, majority of my brushes are natural hairs, okay? I'm a big fan of natural hair brushes, but I'm a Tom Ford girl, so they're synthetic. I also have Westman Atelier brushes that are synthetic and super high end as well. Did a dedicated video to all of them. Listen, when something is just constructed and made in such a high quality way, I personally can look past the synthetic or the real. If it's going to perform as it should, if it's going to give me what I'm looking for, if it's going to allow me to have my experience because a lot of times luxury really is an experience, you know? All right, so I'm gonna go in numerical order and we're gonna talk about the details and the description of each brush and then I'll get into demoing each brush for you. And we're gonna create our look again using Mink Mirage, this classic beauty. If you've got it in your collection, this is a reminder to take her out, use her, show her some love because we love to use the things we already have, don't we? Yes, okay, so. Let's start off with the number three brush. This is the concealer brush. But this is also a brush that you can use for your cream products. You can also use this for your, let's say, color corrector or any cream product that you may want to be a little more specific with, a little bit more detailed with. Let's say we want a nose contour. We can use her for that. So we have a multifunctional brush all in one little guy right here, the number three. And according to Tom Ford's definition, she is going to give you a precise application. <laughs> Here's what she looks like. Super soft with the bristles, okay? The construction is nice. The quality is nice. It says Japan here. The ones that I purchased, I ordered from Nordstrom. The ones that were gifted to me, I think came from Saks. So here you've got Tom Ford and then the number. And that's pretty much it for the details on that brush. And continuing on in numerical order, we have the number 11. This is called the eyeshadow brush. The eyeshadow brush is designed especially for effortless eyeshadow application. Super soft. Again, we have, does this one say Japan? It sure does. You got your number down there and your Tom Ford. And that's the number 11 eyeshadow brush. And moving right along to the number 12. This is the eye contour brush. I don't have a lot of brushes like this, so I'm quite interested in this one. This is described, right, as a brush designed especially for expert eyeshadow contouring application. So, when you want to get nice and precise in the crease, 
when you want to get nice and precise in the outer eye area. When you want to just do maybe like a smoky wing, this is perfect for that. And this also, honestly, is perfect for inner corner, lower lash line. The number 13 eyeshadow blend brush. Very self-explanatory. This is such a nice fluffy blending brush. Of all the brushes, I've used this one the most. And I can create my whole entire eye look with just this brush. So for fun, let's like stray a little bit. Cause I, you know, we're just hanging out. It's time for Tuesday. <laughs> I have had this Chanel brush for a really long time. Over 10, yeah, over maybe 12 years now. Wow, wow. Wow, dang, yeah. This is a Chanel number, tw this is 13, oh, I was about to say. <laughs> this is a Chanel number 12. I doubt they make this exact brush anymore, but I mean, you can probably see, like this brush has like, this is, this is a serious brush. I love how similar they are. Now the Chanel is natural hair, okay, and the Tom Ford is synthetic, but the shape, and the performance have been almost exactly the same. Phenomenal stuff. So whenever I was using this brush as hard as I was, I thought about this brush because this has been my go-to brush. I have like experienced life and this brush has not left me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to show you how great this brush performs, the number 13. Number 14, this is the Smoky Eye Brush. To me, she's like a fluffy pencil brush. This is a smoky eye brush designed for expert application to achieve the ultimate smoky eye. Okay. Or you can do whatever you want to do with it. Inner corner, lower lash line, smoke out your wing, be precise, do a little boop on the nose with your highlight, do a little something on the brow bone, highlight, you know? <laughs> Of course, all the brushes are gonna have a description, but you do with them what you want. Now, this is not technically an eye brush, but it's one of the smaller brushes, and it was a brush that I wanted to share with you. <laughs> this is the number 21. This is a lip brush. Designed to give you expert application and finish your look, your lip looks. I love using it with the gloss, because whenever I do like my Lip liner, which I'll show you. Whenever I do my lip liner and then I'll put my gloss, I like using a lip pencil. Lip pencil. I like using the lip brush to just blend and meld, meld. I cannot speak. Take a breath. My brain is going too fast for me to like process. Hang on. It happens. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is I like using a lip brush, not all the time. Um, but I like when I have like a lip liner and then I'm using a gloss or even a lipstick just to blend everything together, especially if the lip liner is like a different color than your lip, you know, gloss or lipstick. It's nice to have a lip brush on hand to just meld and blend everything together. And yes, of course, you can use your finger. I do it all the time. But I'm just saying, you know, those days when you just want to use a brush, here you go. This is the Tom Ford 21 and she's she's a good one. She's a nice one. Um. It's not a stiff brush either, it's very soft. We've discussed the details, the descriptions, the close-ups, and all the things in regards to the Tom Ford brushes. Let's get into our eye look and using all of these brushes to create our full face of Tom Ford. So we're gonna start off with eyes today, and we're gonna start off with the concealer cream eyeshadow, cream product brush, the number three. And I'm going to use my Emotion Proof Eye Base and we're gonna apply it with that brush. Well, not, well, yeah, we're gonna blend it out with that brush. Okay, what am I saying? <sighs> See, it's one of those days my brain is like, it's too much stuff. Anywho, I'm gonna apply my eye base with this brush is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So I applied the product and now let's blend it with that brush. See, this is lovely because you're not going to get it in your eyebrows. You know, someone like me who doesn't have eyebrows and I have to draw them all on, I can be super precise. And yeah. 
Now I have used this for cream eyeshadow and it's fantastic. It's super precise. It's really nice. So I applied with everything on one side. I'm going to just turn it over to kind of blend. Yeah, I see that. Very nice. Nice and easy. Now I want to use this brush later on for my concealer and my color corrector. So I'm just going to clean it off. So she's nice and clean. She's going over to the side so we can use her again later. If you have this, when was the last time you used it? What We're going in with number 13, that fluffy beauty. And we're going to go into this shade right here. And I'm starting off with that. Focus on the outer eye. And then blending whatever's left directly in the crease. And bringing it up just like a little bit. And I'm holding it all the way down so there's not too, too much pressure. So I'm not having too much application. I'm not having too intense of a color deposit. That's what I'm saying. This is a true traditional fluffy brush that gives you a soft application. And of course, if you hold it closer, you can be more intense or you can hold it further out and just create a softly blended look, which is what we're doing. Everybody has their own little way and style of doing their makeup. Whenever it comes to more dramatic and intense looks, I like to take my time and build. I don't wanna go in too much too quick and whoa. You know, it kind of gets out of control. So I, so we've done that. I'm going to go back in, pick up a little bit more of that shade. And we're going to slowly intensify, continue creating and building up our look. Look at that blend. It is soft and subtle and exactly what we want. All thanks to the beautiful number 13. So I kind of just swirl this around on my microfiber towel. I'm going to go now into that black that I was raving about. I'm very lightly tapping it. Okay. And I'm just lightly tapping it on my outer eye. Just lightly tapping and then blending and keeping the focus on the outer eye. You see how it's just, it's not too intense. And I'm still able to diffuse and blend it. Nice and smooth, you know? So whatever is left now, I'm staying directly in the crease and not going upwards. Going in with the number 11 brush into this shade right here. This is going all over the lid. And I'm just lightly just patting her all over the lid. If you want a softer, more diffused um, application with this color, sweep it. It'll be a lot softer. But I want a little bit more intensity, so I'm tapping. And it'll just build up so nicely. And then right here where the two colors meet, I'll flip the brush around and tap and blend. Yeah. We're going to go in with that number 12. Yeah, that's number 12. This one, the little angled one. We're going to go into the black. I'm just going in, tapping lightly, knocking it off, and... I'm patting for a little more precise application. Else. And then we're going to go back into the more fluffy one. This is the number 13. Back into that sh this shade here. And we're going to blend. And the look is going to start to come together. Yes, it is. I 
cleaned her off on my microfiber towel. So I'm gonna go in and mix the lightest two shades and we're gonna use it as our brogue one highlight. And I need to touch my brow really quick because apparently I blended away a part of it. <laughs> quick pause on the eyes for just a moment. I'm going to finish up my face makeup and then we'll, you know, finish up the eyes and it'll just all come together and we'll get to use the rest of our brushes. With the number three, I'm going to quickly color correct with this brush and we're going to conceal with it as well. Cleaned off that brush again. We're gonna go into our Emotion Proof Concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Whenever you use a brush for liquid products like this, you're going to get more pigmentation, more coverage. So I'm applying with one side and then I'm going to flip around Whoa. and blend. I'm just going to set my under eye really quick. All right, let's get back to these eyes. And we have not used this brush. This is called a smoky eye brush, but I haven't used it that way. <laughs> to the lightest shade, and we're gonna apply that on the inner corner, and I'm just lightly blending it inward. putting a little chocolate in the waterline. I'm gonna do a super cute little baby wing and then we'll do the lower lash line and before you know it, we'll be all done. I put some lashes, this one's being a little wonky, but that's okay. <laughs> so let's do a little something on the lower lash line. Not much, just a little bit. I'm actually gonna go, oh, doesn't look that bad, okay. So I've got that number 12. We're gonna use the number 12 and the number 14, these two for the lower lash line. Starting off with number 12, going into the lighter brown. I'm gonna keep that super close. And this brush is nice because it gets nice and close under there, see? So it's not too intense if you don't want it to be. Mixing these two shades, I'm just going to softly blend under here. Don't mind the wonky lash, but here is our eye look. Super soft and blended and just very sophisticated and wearable. Ready to see what the lip combo is today? Got a couple of little things. I'm actually gonna go in with my House of Siage lip pencil. 
These are so good. They last when you apply them. They're super creamy. Love. This is the shade Beige Affair. I need to sharpen it. It looks a little crusty. <laughs> so let's sharpen it really quick. And each one of your pencils comes with its own sharpener. So I'm going to sharpen her really quick. You know what? Before I forget, let me put some mascara on my lower lash line. My goodness. Sharpened up Beige Affair. Let's apply. I go in with a little bit of my lip blush because I like that little pinky tone that it gives naturally. This one. Yeah. And I focus it on the center. Blush Honey. Honey Eyed Coral. You guys, I'm like almost done with this. It's such a good gloss. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand so that we can go in with our lip brush. And this is a real cocktail. Because <laughs> I love how nude everything is, but I want to bring back just like a little bit more pinky to the look. So now with the lip brush, I picked up the gloss. I start at the center and then I just melt and blend everyone together. Here's our finished look. So we used all the Tom Ford eye brushes. We used them on the eyes and the face. Each brush is multifunctional. Honestly, you could create a whole entire look using just this brush. You can create a whole entire look using just this brush. You don't necessarily need every single one of them, but they all serve a beautiful purpose. And I'm glad that I was able to share each one with you and kind of just show you their multifunctionality because we love that. I will say out of all of these brushes, the number 13 is my favorite. I am able to create my full entire eye look using just this brush. And out of all of the brushes, I have been reaching for this one the most. Although I did go and purchase another one of the number 11s, this one, because I really like this one too. <laughs> I felt like I just needed one more for highlight and then just another one for the eyes i need to get another one of these now <laughs> but of all of the brushes this one is my favorite the number 13 because i feel like i can just do the most with it um i like them i'm gonna keep using them and they're a beautiful addition to the tom ford family yes so happy tom ford tuesday everyone let me know what you guys think comment down below appreciate you hanging out with me today Stay beautiful, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.